hello everyone you're welcome back to this channel thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much to all my returning subscribers and if you're coming here for the first time you're warmly welcome i appreciate your coming and don't forget to subscribe before you go what i do basically on this channel is to talk about scholarship opportunities in south america all over the world basically now or recently i've been talking about scholarships in brazil and um, today i'm here with something that is very very interesting so uh, i wanted to just sit down and um, i wanted to pay close attention to this particular scholarship because to be honest this is a very exciting and interesting um, scholarship opportunity we've always we've known brazil to you know always bringing something very you know always bringing general scholarship so this one is a very interesting one and i want you to pay close attention to it because it involves a little technicality okay so if you are a researcher from developing countries from any of the developing countries this particular video is for you and if you are if it is you or someone that you know that is looking to do a postgraduate you know in brazil please kindly share this amazing opportunity with uh, the person and this particular scholarship is from cmpq if you are conversant with this particular channel you will recall that i've talked about cmpq cmpq is just like a body that controls scholarship that controls scientific uh, okay so C cmpq is just the national council for scientific and technological development in brazil so this is the name and this particular scholarship is in conjunction with uh, UNESCO is a kind of um, agreement between Brazil and UNESCO. They are looking for 50 doctoral uh, applicants, or let me put it that way 50 doctoral applicants. So, researchers from developing countries except Brazil, because Brazil itself is also a developing country. So, if you are a researcher from developing country except from Brazil, you can apply to this fantastic scholarship program. And the deadline for the application is January next year. And you are also going to resume that next year so i suspect it's going to be in second semester remember second semester usually starts from september um majority of the uh, phd program in some programs starts in september i recall my own program also started in september oh so this particular one the, the deadline is january 31st and um they are going to resume in september 2005 so like i said it's a it's a collaboration between cmpq unesco and tiwas okay so so this scholarship program to you know the aim is just to promote scientific and technological cooperation i think between uh, between developing countries particularly those people that are in a specific field which I'm going to mention in the course of, the, of this video. So what does this scholarship actually offer? The program is, like I mentioned earlier, is generously funded because from my research, I realized that almost 8 or more than 8.6 million reais, 8.6 million reais has been, you know, um, allocated for this particular 50 set of people. So, and... Uh, people that they're going to be doing their research for like four years doctorate uh students so in addition to this tiwas we always tiwas we always support um visas they will support they will support their visa and they will also support their airfare expenses so every expenses that has to do with the airfare that is your flight ticket from your country and when you are coming and if you want to return they're also going to be in charge uh, and they have allocated like like 250 dollars for this separately and um not only that uh the it is advised 
it is advised um, it's advisable that you apply to increase your chances actually it is advised that you apply to programs that are rated five six and seven you recall that i made a video sometimes ago about programs that are rated below five and there were songs that are rated you know the highest rating or the highest rate is seven so if you are going to be applying to this particular one make sure that the program you are applying to is rated five six and seven so Take note of this CAPES ranking because uh, it's going to really increase your chances of um, being selected. So the areas of knowledge covered by this program are perfectly aligned with Brazil's strategic needs. And uh, Brazil does not just give scholarship to all kinds of programs. So this particular one is dedicated to need, I mean, area where Brazil is in need of uh, resource uh, people and this area cut across science technology and areas where there is a need for innovation so uh, these areas include uh, areas like agricultural sciences in fact brazil is one of the countries that is very good in agricultural talking about livestock talking about crop farming okay so areas like agricultural um sciences biological systems medical sciences engineering and some other uh, aspects so this scholarship cover a wide range of fields like i mentioned so molecular biology medical earth sciences mathematics physics social economic sciences um, computing information so if you are if your research is within this area or is within this scope just try as much as possible to to uh, you know apply as soon as possible and the, the, the call aims to just achieve uh, achieve several objectives which includes to collaborate with developing countries just like I said earlier on um, and they want to just train researchers they want to you know help in promoting scientific and technological advancement and they, I think they also want to encourage internalization of brazilian universities you know just to create a kind of cooperation networks okay all right so um i'm just still going to be doing a lot of i'm still going to be making another video concerning this because a lecturer this is not the first time brazil is issuing out this particular program so you know a lecturer was the one that i have couples of lecturers that I also work with. They are not my supervisor, you know. I just try to work with them to get information. Not only information, I also work with them to also be able to navigate some application processes. Do you understand? So, uh, you know, one of the beautiful things about Brazil, Brazilians is that they are very nice. When you ask for information, when you ask for, you know, they are ready to give you information. So I'm dev I'm currently working with two lecturers that are putting me through on how to go about this, right? Because it's going to involve you um, registering your CV, like creating a lattice profile, creating a profile on the lattice uh, platform. Lattice, if you don't know, is the Brazilian CV. We have Lattice CV, so it's the, it's the Brazilian CV format. So um, I'm working with them and they are putting me through. I myself, I have a CV on Lattice platform, but you know, I just want to uh, pick from their brains on how to make cv stand out not just to go to the lattice platform and just you know so there are ways to these are lecturers that have been able to secure grants under cnpq with a, a you know having a standout um cv so i'm going to be doing a video about that very soon i've gotten some information about that but i want a robust information i don't really like to bring something that is not uh, genuine enough and you know that is not watch watching watching you know because I don't want it to wait I don't want you to waste your time of course so 
So like I said, this particular program is open and it, they are looking for 50 doctorate pro, uh, researchers. They are looking for 50 people that are willing to do their PhD in Brazil. And these people, when, once you are selected, they are going to pay for your flight ticket. They are also going to help you to expedite your visa process as it is written in the instruction, in the guideline. And they are also going to be paying you 3100 every month like as a stipend not only that they are also going to be paying you um 470 reais as bench fee bench fee okay so this information i'm giving you they are genuine bench fee of 470 reais stipend of 3100 EFA to and for and uh, what have you and other they are also going to help you to expedite your visa process. So that means that this one, if you submit, once you are selected, if you submit for your visa, within one week, you are ready to go. So guys, put on all your best in, in applying for this particular um, call. Now, this is another, this is another page or it's another, oh my God. So this is another um, tab that I opened. So you can navigate through. I'm going to share the, this link in the description box. You can navigate through this uh, particular tab through the link I'm going to share. So just look at this particular, the, the call in English, sample acceptance letter, towards application form, guideline CV link, and the online application form. So basically, this is what I'm working with the lecturers I mentioned with. This what these uh, five aspects is what I'm working with them with so they are putting me through and I'm gonna make a video about it but in the meantime I wanted to take a look we have a long time it's going to close in January so if you know someone if you know any graduate assistant if you know someone that want to do PhD just share this video with them okay and it's a fantastic one okay like I said 3100 as the stipend 470 as the bench fee to and fro EFA and um, you know this they are going to help you to uh, expedite your visa and as it is they may most likely also going to help you to prepare where you are going to you know um, they also most likely I'm not sure about it but someone told me because like I told you this is not the first time they are bringing out this is not common in Brazil but this is not the first time they are having a TWAS with cmpq right i've seen myself i've seen an application but you know it was like a an inspired one so the the professors i'm working with they're just going to be putting me through there are people that have experience in it so they're going to be putting me through and i'm going to make a video about this it is about gathering the information that is genuine reliable and uh, information that can be verified right so but in the meantime i want you to start preparing your mind this is a juicy offer it's an interesting one cmpq in collaboration with tiwas so and they're granting they're granting 50 fellowships to phd uh applicants phd uh, potential applicants so try to this particular application was announced on the 10th as you can see here, it was published on the 10th. It was published on the 10th of, um, I mean, it was published on the 8th of October. Today is 11th. It was published on the 8th of October, 2024, around 4.35 p.m. So you can see that this is still something that is new. So guys, get your CV ready. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm so sorry. You are going to create a CV on the lattice for format. I've done a video about doing this before, but I'm doing a and uh, like updated video about it shortly. And I'm also going to be I mean including how to go about this application such that your chances is going to be increased. There are some certain things you need to do when applying to Brazilian University. You know these things are just kind of uh, information that, you know, don't let me talk too much about that. But there are some certain things you can do, at least from my experience in Brazil so far, within the academic sector, having a rapport with lecturers, with professors, with students that are recipients, with 
nationals and with foreign students, I've been able to glean a lot of information on how to tactfully or strategically apply to universities in Brazil. So guys, get yourself ready. You are going to be creating a CV on the latest format. I mean, on the latest platform. And uh, you are also going to be, you know, I'm also going to be guiding you through this application process. It is free. There is no, there is no paying of money, nothing. So everything is free. So guys, get ready. It's an interesting one. CMPQ and UNESCO offer 50 doctoral scholarship in Brazil for researchers from developing countries. Imagine Brazil itself is a developing country and it's also trying to bring other people, I mean, people from other developing countries to their country. No, I think these people are too wise. Well, whichever ways, get yourself ready, guys, and try to apply to this particular opportunity. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you. If you are yet to subscribe, please kindly subscribe so that you will be among those people that is going to, you know, um, see the video when I dropped it. And uh, please kindly share with, if you have someone that could be interested for this particular PhD opportunity, kindly share it with them. And uh, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.